hello everyone uh, in this video we will practice some what we learned so far from the other labs and uh, uh, we will uh, strengthen our knowledge of or our skills in using solid edge so we will doing this shape here uh, and uh, start uh, the the video okay so let's go to solid uh, solid edge as you can see we have uh, different uh, curves and so on so and most probably we will concentrate on how to do a uh, symmetry use symmetry and uh, better to do our job okay so let's go to solid edge we're going to go to metric since it's in mid in uh, millimeters I'm going to click here, say OK. So I'm going to go to front view, circle by center. Go to center here. And this value here is 128. Enter. I'm going to make this. Uh, circle as a construction circle because I'm going to use it for something else ok now I'm going to go to circle by center again and this will be 20 and I'm going to make sure this is a solid yeah it is a solid ok so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get rid of this space, uh, the coordinate axis, so it doesn't bother us anymore. So I just, I'm, I'm gonna go to this here. Oh, sorry, it's okay. Okay, let me go this. Okay, it's gonna be in the same lines. Okay, now once we got it in the same line, I'm gonna do another circle by center. So I'm gonna have forty enter I'm gonna highlight the circle go to the center of the circle click so this means I highlight the circle put the center of the circle click and also I'm gonna use the property of equal so this way I will maintain this one equal to this one so now I will need to put the dimension also so this is 40 and the other one is 20 okay okay now I'm gonna uh, to, uh, get the the angle between from the center of the circle to the center of the circle here the center of the circle here good okay now the angle between them should be 72 so I'm gonna do this one and this one because this should be 72 so I'm going to change it to 72 yeah good so this way we draw one fifth of the shape but anyway and still we need to do the tangent here so I'm going to go to circle by tangent circle I'm going to get a tangent somewhere here and then make it tangent in another location here and then what I'm going to do I'm going to trim this part and make sure that smart dimension make the radius here should be 50 I'm gonna put 50 Hit. okay so far we draw this shape here so let's continue with the patterns I'm gonna use what I'm gonna use mirror okay mirror okay now before I use mirror just I need to highlight the select first I need, I need to select this part here okay and then I'm going to select mirror and then this mirror around this line it give me the shape here then escape and then mirror again around this line or this line around this line okay this line this line okay and then around this line and then around this line okay so now I got the all the shape 
and then I'm gonna say escape now okay so now now I'm gonna start cleaning the uh, the shape so I'm gonna start that so we're gonna go to select the item we need to delete so I'm gonna go to select select the line here I'm gonna delete delete okay select this line delete delete okay okay select this one delete okay okay now we need to delete this one too okay okay I'm gonna zoom so this way I can be more accurate okay so I'm gonna here I need to trim this curve here and this curve too this curve here and this curve too and then I'm gonna move it up again we're gonna trim this one and the other curve here and to the right the curve here and to the right the curve here and then I'm gonna move it up hmm. and trim this one here and this one here. hello Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here it is. Okay. Now uh, let's zoom. Fit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to home and extrude face fine. Then uh, left click and then right click. So now it's gonna be the thickness. I have the thickness is how much? About 20. Okay, so I'm gonna put 20. Oops, sorry. So we're done. So now let's go to the the front view, and we're gonna draw another two circle center circle. So I'm gonna circle by center. The first one is 64. Highlight this one so I can see the exact. And then I'm gonna click here. And then another one is 50. So I'm going to put 50. And should be in the same center line. Okay. Now I need to draw one of the tooth. Uh, so I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to draw a line here. Go to the center of the circle. I'm going to draw vertical. Click. I'm gonna bar draw a parallel vertical line okay and draw another parallel vertical line okay now I need to make this line in the middle a construction line and now I'm gonna do what uh, 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 a symmetric okay means I need about this line I need this line and this line to be symmetric around it okay no, but the distance between both of them should be from here to here should be 12 I'm gonna put 12 okay it's still you know now I need to start cleaning so I'm gonna highlight this one delete Okay, trim this one, trim this one, trim this one, and trim this one, and trim this one. Now I'm going to go to the uh, home, and I'm going to go to extrusion, and this should be cut, 
in the face so I'm gonna okay first I'm gonna highlight this one okay so no okay just uh, escape okay either okay I'm gonna go to extrude if it should work with face but if it didn't work okay like this one no okay so if it didn't oh I didn't choose minus okay it has to be cut okay just uh, escape just cut escape okay let's do it again extrusion minus face is gonna be I'm gonna make it by chain better okay so I'm gonna choose this chain here and then right click uh, left click uh, right okay uh, right click sorry and then you choose next uh, through next so through it to this direction okay so now we created one of the tooth so I'm gonna go to the front view now I'm gonna get the pattern here around the, the, the circle so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it by by the pattern okay so what I'm gonna so I'm gonna select this one tooth here so I'm gonna highlight this one so I selected it and then what click on the pattern around the circular pattern and then we're gonna come here yeah you see this one here once it is becomes in the center I'm gonna click and then it give me how many count you want because I did it before as a four as eight so it's eight but you can make it six you can make it six. So all what you need to do is just you input the number here so in my case it's eight and then I say okay and then we should get the thing okay what's we done so now what we're gonna do is that after that just escape so we got the shape and we go to home and then I'm gonna just get rid of these things here so I'm gonna go to here get the dimension out get the the sketches out and I have the shape and this will conclude the tutorial session for today for this lab uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and i would love to hear your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and uh, click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye bye